Day two, let's go. See these? That is the benefit of going with a tour. You don't have to carry your stuff. Look. Here we go. I feel way better today. This is gonna be good. We just gotta go take it slow. We sort of burnt out a bit yesterday. We marched up the first hill and it just killed us for the rest of the day. Like, it was actually a good sleep in there. Yeah, they had like seven blankets. It was really quiet because everyone was really tired and went to bed early. It's a lovely temperature this morning. Must be about 13 degrees. Yeah, something like that. It's nice. Yesterday was full of moans. Today will be different. We will embrace this day with no headache. I gotta say, that cold shower was not very comfortable. Lucas, I don't know how you do that every day, man. That was horrible. I had to put some like heavy metal music on and get proper in it, into it and just jump in there. I don't want another cold shower tonight. I need a hot shower. I need to find some accommodation somewhere to spend the night at the next village settlement I don't really know what we would call these because there's nothing there just a few places to stay there I wonder what the deal is with all these little piles of rocks why would why would they be there oh yeah they look old bloody hell old accommodation these glass roofs I feel like they, they've done the domes and it's become like a thing where everyone wants to see the sky at night. But honestly, when I looked up through ours yesterday, it was so steamed up, you couldn't see shit. I did like the sound of the rain on it though, that was quite nice. Yeah. Sent me off to sleep, I had a lovely sleep. But yeah, they've, they've even got the glass roofs on there. They look like they haven't been used in years. A bit further up the trail as well, aren't they? So they're probably not gonna, you know, if you want to go up to the lake, you've got to go all the way back there. It's quite, quite far. Probably been walking for about 20 minutes so far. We've done a kilometre. We've done one kilometre. 19 to go. Yesterday, I probably would have paid a pretty sum to get my stuff put on one of them. Donkeys, they look really frail, but they're bloody strong. Yeah, like look how skinny they le Yeah, exactly. Legs are well skinny. But they're going up here way faster than us, but they have got four of them. And we've only got three. I've got two. No, no, I'm not saying about that third leg. I'm saying about the stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Pure filth. Pure filth coming from Natalia there. Want some sheeps. Oh, they're so fluffy. Oh. Look at them sticking together. Oh, look, Nat. We found some. Our first ones. I don't know if they're alpacas or llamas. Probably llamas. You can't see really, but we've just walked all the way up there and I don't feel too bad at all about it. You definitely gotta go slower. Don't rush yourself. These, these llamas, man. That guy's face. So cool. <laughs> they are cool, aren't they? Uh, yeah, but they're, um, I don't know. They don't look very adapt for this sort of terrain. I saw him just go up the little mound there and he was struggling. Poor donkeys. With our own hard graft. We're not cheating with no guides. If you do want a guide, the prices range for this trick from around $400 to about $650, I believe. The more you pay, the better the accommodation along the way. But they carry your stuff for you, show you the way, but you can get all trails app. You can just do the trail yourself. But it's going to be considerably cheaper to do it on your own. It just means you've got to carry your own stuff. The reason it's cheaper than the Inca Trail, believe it or not, the Inca Trail is around $600 up to $1,600. And that's because you cannot do it without a guide. So they charge you a lot more, the Inca Trail. The Salcante Trek is a different route. It's about double the distance. But I like doing things on my own. I don't like tours. I don't like waiting around for people. Although people probably would have been waiting around for us yesterday. <laughs> I think the only time I've enjoyed a guided tour was to Nagara in Malaysia when we did wild camping in that cave. That was good. That guy was cool as well. 
that was only our second country we'd ever been to actually doing this we stayed all the way down there i know it doesn't really look that far but it, it is far trust me Found a little settlement. Look at this. 4,150 meters, are we? Yeah. Wow. What do you think the purpose of this is? Shelter with rest area. Yeah. Doesn't look very open, does it? Looks a bit abandoned, actually. We've got to go up there. I actually thought the cloud cover would ruin this trip, or at least the views, but. It's like a, it's like a ceiling. It's like you're enclosed in this crazy looking place. You can't see out of it. We're just in here. It's like a, on a computer game, like the fog of war. That's what it's like. The closer you get, the more you can see. That's ah, cool. I like it. Gives it a real nice, like mysterious atmosphere. Not sure how long it's been. Look weird on the iPhone. Not sure how long it's been yet. I don't know what time is. 10 past 8. We've only been going for an hour and 40 minutes. Oh dear, that picture looks sharp. You can see everything. Oh, look at his little, little hat. Wonder why he's got them bells on him. He's probably the one that always gets lost. <laughs> Dan's made a little friend. That's great. We have reached a fork in the road. Do we go right, the shorter but steeper path, or do we take the left route and go the longer but slightly less steep route? I'm gonna go the easy route, let's go. Come on, we, str we struggled too much yesterday. All trails does say to go this way. That way is the way that the donkeys go. You see how steep it is? All the way out there. And then we've got to go all up here, which actually looks just as steep, to be honest. But apparently this way goes along by the river and it's a, a shallower incline. It takes a little bit longer, but I think it's gonna be better for us. I am not a donkey. Look at this, right? We started here, we're here, and we've got to go all the way to here. We're a couple hours in. What is it, half eight? We're two, two hours in, two hours in and we're up to there. Mad, big, big day, big day. We'll go up here, up there, <laughs> <laughs> up all the way. This uh, incline we're doing right now, this is called the Gringo Killer. Very rightly named, I would say. Look at it. How ridiculous is this? We're not even anywhere near the top. Look at it. It's got to go on and on and on. And it's mad to think we came from all the way over there. And you know what I said yesterday about needing walking boots? Well, this crazy Canadian is proving me wrong. No problem with them, eh? Nothing. No problem. Feet are dry still. <laughs> Might not look like it, but... <laughs> awesome. So, if you don't want to pack walking boots, you can do it. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's a bit of a drop, isn't it? A bit. The rain's starting to pick up a bit now. I think matey boy is going to struggle in his vans on this bit. Oh, we're going to... 
Oh, they're smarter than us. This is what happens when Natalia's leading. 4,480 meters. What a day. What a day. this. It's beautiful up here. Bloody beautiful it is. There's some big old duck over there. Oh, that's my high altitude ducks. Do you know I wonder? I wonder if there are any fish in this lake. And if there are fish in this lake, how did they get there? Always blows my mind when I see fish in a lake up in the mountains. How did it get here? Did it just spawn here spontaneously? I don't know. If any of you guys know anything about that sort of thing, educate me please, that would be great. It's days like today where I remember why I do this. In my day-to-day -day life at home, it gets a little bit mundane, a bit boring, you become a bit complacent, a bit com comfortable. And this reminds you of actually going out and living. You put yourself through a little bit of pain. When you go back to normality, you really appreciate how comfortable we have it. Uh, days like yesterday, me and Nat were thinking, yeah, why are we doing this? Why do we go and do this? Why don't we just go and sit in a nice five-star hotel by the beach, sipping cocktails and relaxing? And today has reminded me why we do that. You see some landscapes just unbelievable landscapes you just you just won't see them unless you put yourself through a little bit of pain we've almost got a mad view here if these clouds part that's all snowy mountains behind there that will be cool i'd love to get clear of those mountains i know as we're walking up the the mountain there with that it was clear I was trying to fly the drone behind us so you could see it but the, the altitude is so high the air is so thin here I can't even fly the drone they won't be able to get enough power from the how thin the air is insane I, I wasn't expecting that at all and we're still going up and we're still yeah we're still going up now <laughs> we're about three and a half hours in now it's pretty hectic Oh, we must be nearly at the top now. How the guys get? <laughs> oh my god. Cut. Oh, we must be nearly at the top now. Can't walk much further, otherwise we'll end up in heaven. Right. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Natalia said that to me just now off camera and I thought that actually sounds really funny. And I, and I put the camera in front of her face and this is what happens. I'm like China from Friends. I seize up. <laughs> made it! Salkante Peak, baby! 4.6 thousand metres high above sea level. This is the highest point of the Salkante trek. Look at the view. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's alright. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <sighs> Should we get going? Sweet, all right, let's go. Okay. Woo! Downhill, baby! <laughs> ah, the reward for all of our hard work, our four hour incline. That was harsh. The gringo killer. Ah, ah, lovely downhill. Not lovely downhill if you've got dodgy knees, but my knees are intact for now, so I'm gonna enjoy this. Here I am just walking through the mountains, thinking to myself, who actually wants to watch me walking through the mountains? Are you interested in the trek? Are you watching it because it's something you can't do? Are you just bored and you've just clicked on it because you found it? 
I'm quite interested in, in why people even watch these videos. <laughs> and I enjoy making them, so it's good fun for me, but yeah. Is it for educational purposes or entertainment? Let me know. All right, here's a little tip for anybody that wants to do this trek. Before you come here, go to Cusco, go to San Pedro Market. You can get all sorts of little snacks and they're really cheap. Bag of nuts, we've got a couple of chocolate bars, 70% plus cocoa, of course. Lifesaver. Little energy snacks that you need along the way. Also, if you want to get yourself a little poncho or any little souvenirs, go to San Pedro Market. Because Nat did that and hers was nice and cheap. I didn't do that and mine was a ripoff. And it's pretty cool to look around as well. They've got all sorts of stuff. Pig heads, testicles, everything. <laughs> Natalia's Fitbit is saying she's done 148 zone minutes today. Now, if that means nothing to you, that meant nothing to me before. It's basically a measurement of intense activity. The average adult is supposed to do 20 zone minutes per day, three times a week. She's on 148 now in one day. Yesterday was 200. So it just shows how strenuous this walk is really. We're about six hours in now. Body's starting to ache a bit, I can't lie. The old hips are going a bit. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. We've only got a couple hours left. No, we don't, we have more. No, we ain't. Mm. Now the map does look like we're not even halfway yet, considering we started, we started here. We're only here and we've got to get to there. But I think because this is all downhill now, it'd be way easier. So distance wise, I think it's probably the same. It was just, that was a steeper incline. So how red my hands are, in the cold. Mm. You keep walking past the same people. We all stop and start at different times and you just walk past each other over and over again. But you kind of run out of things to say. So you just go past with some things like, oh, this is uh, getting easier now, isn't it? And then like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep going, mate. You'll be all right. Yep, yep. Cheers, mate. Yep. <laughs> Soldier on. Don't stop. Oh, it's quite funny. Just over seven hours in. The last hour or so has been pretty flat. It's been quite easy. There's a few places to stop as well for like, there's a couple of rest well, restaurants, that snack bars along the way. There's a massive pig here. Oh. Is he? Hello, mate. Nice grass fed pig, that'd be nice. I could do some bacon and meat in a few days. Oh, I wouldn't eat it really. Bless her. All right, let's go. Let's go. We've still got, we've still. <laughs> Good pig. Aww. Oh, I kind of feel bad for saying I'd eat it now. Oh, little darling. All right, come on, let's go. He's Favorite part of the walk because it's a nice countryside and the birds are tweeting, which I like. Like a mossy forest. It's a lovely part of the walk, this. My favourite. The only problem I have with this so far is we haven't seen any wildlife. Where's the bears? I oh, know. I want to see a condor. They're quite rare to see that, I think. Really? Yeah. They're a massive bird in the sky. How hard can they be to see? There's not that many of left of them in the wild. Fuck, we're about eight hours in now. Oh, I'm, I've had enough. I'm hungry now as well. We forgot to get sandwiches. If you're uh, if you are thinking of doing this, make sure you get all the sandwiches with the woman the night before at the other hostel because yeah, we didn't do it. We forgot. And now all we got is nuts, and I'm bored of them. I want a pizza. Nat's put the idea of pizza in my head, and now that's all I can think about. <laughs> Fully loaded pizza with barbecue chicken with sweet corn and. Mushrooms, peppers, oh, mate, that'd be so good right now. 
I'd, I'd pay a lot of money to have that right now. It's all I can think about. Double cheese. Oh, I'm starving. Okay, look at this view. It's mad. It's like the mossy forest. Oh, we've got to keep going. Oh, we keep walking past the same people and it's just doing my nutting now. We, we stop, they walk past, they stop, we walk past. I'm just, oh. Hi, 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 hi. I'm too hungry for this. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm even so hungry for a pizza, I will settle for a vegetarian pizza. I don't know why we are expecting there to be pizzas there. But uh, I would settle for a vegetarian right now. That's how much I want one. <laughs> this is how we survive in the mountains. Chickens. Man, I will want to get some chickens. Get eggs every day for nothing. Give us some corn, get some eggs. It's a great trade. I just stopped at one of those restaurants along the way just to see how much they really are. And you're definitely going to want to get your stuff at the San Pedro market in Cusco before you come here. Two Snickers were the equivalent of £3.36. That is insane. There's no way I would ever pay that. So, unless you want to pay that, make sure you get some snacks. Right, all trails, look, we're so close. There's where we need to get to. We've literally just been power walking this last bit. I'm so hungry. The thought of food is um, spurring me on. Power cables. Power cables means civilization. Hot showers, pizzas, nice beds. It's all just over there somewhere. We must be close. Right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've been in kind of a secret race because there's quite a few other solo trekkers, hikers, that have not booked their accommodation yet. And I, I, I was a bit worried that the rooms are all going to get taken up, so we need to be first there. There was another two girls who booked their accommodation at uh, Santa Teresa. Because when you type on booking.com, this place that we're going to now, it gives you options in Santa Teresa. And if, you're not, if you don't check the map, you're going to book it thinking you're booking a place here. So they've done that. So now they've got no accommodation tonight, so they need a space as well. I was like, nah, we need, we need to put our foot on the pedal here. We're going to end up with no bed tonight. We're going to end up in some shithole. And after, this, after today's walk, oh, I want a nice place to stay. But that's, that's what I've been doing. That's the type of person I am. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> One dude overtook us earlier when we stopped and we haven't seen him yet since but apart from that i think everyone stopped for lunch and where we forgot about lunch it's kind of worked in our favor to make sure we get a good accommodation yes i'm starting to see a settlement there that's where we're going i think it looks like it's quite a lot of buildings there somebody has got to be selling pizza i will pay you however much for it i just saved money by not buying them snickers and now i'm gonna Splash out on a pizza. Please be a pizza there. We're nearly there. I can smell it. And an interesting twist of events. We've come around this corner here and there is this. I'm going to check the map really and see exactly where we are because I don't know. I'm a bit confused now. None of this would really make sense. Oh look. It's just little bush turkeys. This right here, this is Chuale, which is where we're supposed to be going and it's where you're supposed to spend the night. But that place across the river there is a little bit further away but it does look quite good. Looks a lot more built up and I don't know what is here. It looks a bit, oh, the restaurant bar. They've got a dog as well. This is a hostel. I wonder if they have, look. No one there. Yeah, it's like a ghost town. It looks nice enough, but. It, it does look nice, but there's nobody here. There's no one here. Oh, there's somebody there. She didn't give a shit about us. She didn't say hello, so fuck her. Let's go. 
that was a joke by the way for all you sensitivities. Lodging Andrew, hot shower, Wi-Fi, beverages, food, mate, that sounds good. That does sound good. It looks a bit dead as well though. Yeah. Tienda is closed. Cocina is closed and locked. It's not open. Oh my god. It's a really nice actually, really nice through here. Yeah. Look at this. Also a backpack over there, over there. Yeah, and there's that dude over there that overtook us earlier. Yeah. Oh, let's go over here. Here we are. Apparently this one has good reviews online. I smell a fire. I like this. This is a well nice place. How chill is this? Yeah. Fuck the other place. We're going to go here. Look at this. Mate, it's so nice here. Wow. Oh, they have a room. They have a room. 80 solids per person. Hot shower, Wi-Fi, dinner, breakfast, all included. Oh, it's such a nice setting here. I love it. Oh, it's like a little oasis. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed, man. It's a proper room, apparently. Oh, look, turkeys. I could eat that right now. I remember I got attacked by a turkey in Vietnam before, but we lost all our footage for it. Anyway, let's see the room. Oh, nice. Oh, mate. Look at this bed. This is perfect. Hot shower, waterfall shower as well. Oh, mate. Look at that. Mate, I'm so happy. This is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, the dude is so nice as well, the guy who runs it. Really nice guy. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> oh, we got the room. Yes. Right. I'm hungry now, though. Dinner's not until six. So I'm gonna wanna go and find a little something something to eat. I'm short of the cheese sandwich. I'll literally eat anything right now. I was like, have you got any sandwiches? He goes, mm, no, no dango. Don't have. I was like, fuck. He goes, oh, queso? I was like, yes, mate, I'll have whatever, I don't care. I'll have the bloody bread on its own. I'm starving, man. No pizza though, no pizza, but they do dinner over there and he said, he asked me if I eat chicken, so I'm so excited for it. I haven't had meat in two days now. Mate, it's not much at all, but I'll have it. Literally just cut a bun in half and put cheese in it, but. Mmm, it's good. It's like goat's cheese. It's well nice. I'm so hungry, I'd literally eat anything right now. It's like halloumi or something, man. It's, it tastes well nice. Oh, maybe it's just because I'm so hungry. Five, five uh, solids though, not bad. It's a quid. Yeah, it's a quid, one pound. Not bad. Cheaper than a Snickers. If you think about it, it's not far off a pizza. Bread and cheese. The only thing missing is the tomato <coughs> paste. <sighs> Knackered. Knackered. I'm going to have a nice hot shower and then dinner is at six o'clock. I'm going to chill until then. Right, for reference, Natalia, how many zone minutes did you do? 339. 339 minutes of intense workout today. Tomorrow we've got another 15 kilometers to go, so I'm going to be getting an early night again. Uh, I felt way better today after that good sleep last night, so I'm hoping to get the same again, in again tonight. Uh, yeah. I love you and leave you. Peace out.